Welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. Join us now as Aaron Sewell, 2023 President of the Sunflower Association of Realtors. Good, Good morning. morning. Thank you. I'm excited for you to be on the show today because we've talked a lot of on the show about kind of what to do if you want to buy a home. But today we're kind of talking about what to do when you're trying to sell your home, which is something that a lot of people tend to maybe not even realize or forget that there are things you need to do to prepare your house. Correct, in advance. Yes. yes. And so I guess what would be even just step one of you're ready to sell the house, where do you need to do and where do you need to go? Uh, I think like the first thing is to start the process early. Mm -hmm. we, we see a lot of people that are just not prepared. They want to list their house today. Yes. <laughs> um, so uh, obviously in our world, the first step is we would, you know, encourage you to contact your realtor mm -hmm. ahead of ahead of time, whatever that time is. Obviously life throws people curves. Yeah. Uh, and you don't have that time, but uh, you know, try to be prepared and plan in advance. Mm -hmm. Okay. So like say they don't have a realtor, maybe they, they don't, like when they bought the house long ago, things have changed. Could they just go to like the Sunflower Associated Realtors and pick somebody up? Yes, uh, sunflowerrealtors.com. Um, we have a list of uh, all of our members on there. Um, obviously, word of mouth through referral mm -hmm. from a friend, colleague, coworker, um, you know, that, that type of thing. But, uh, sounds easy enough so far. <laughs> yes, but you know, reach out to that realtor ahead of time and, and work with them mm -hmm. to develop a plan okay. for getting your house, um, you know, ready for market, for marketing photos. Okay, so like like, yeah, photos and obviously, so what, yeah, what's all in this plan? Like I'm assuming that you would want to fix some of the kind of the simplest things, if you will. Uh, correct. Uh, we always recommend starting with the simple fixes first, you know, to touch up paint, cracks in walls, um, you know, any of those little things that might be in a buyer's mind mm -hmm. that kind of really sticks out, neutralizing colors, okay. the, the cheaper more simple things. Yeah, and the use, uh, neutralizing colors, we were talking about this before the show a little bit. Mm -hmm. What colors, I guess, would you avoid on your walls if you're trying to sell a house? And like, what would you, what would be a neutralizing color to kind of throw on there? Uh, I'm not a paint expert okay. by any yeah. means. Um, you know, each house is different, um, you know, location style. Um, some of those things are gonna dictate what, what you do, but um, you know, more, through, more your earth tones, mm -hmm. Uh, whites, you know, beiges, grays are, are still very popular. Um, just not the bright yellows and right. the Yeah, the it, it may look great oranges. with your style, Correct. but you're, you're obviously trying to sell your house for other people's style. So you want that, as we said, that neutral kind of color base for so people to walk in your house and they can see the vision of the future for C them. Correct. Get rid of the K-State purple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, definitely get rid of this K-State purple. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Manhattan people. I love it. And I think another thing, it just... Um, so you want to present the house. I always remember I mean, we've been through selling houses in the past where you kind of want to clean things up, pr make the house presentable, but even ult like extra presentable, I says, is that the idea? Yeah, kind of clear the clutter, mm -hmm. so to speak. Um, you know, sometimes that entails uh, going out and running a storage shed and, and physically moving your stuff. Don't necessarily cram it all in the garage. Uh, People want to see the garage. Yeah, take the time and effort to, to really kind of scale things down, make your house look bigger. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, here again, that's part of the plan and planning yeah, ahead. Yeah, it's all about the planning. And working with the realtor, they can advise you on that stuff. Yeah, so like they can, the realtor can come down, look around, go and like, you know, maybe lose some of the pictures. Correct. Yeah, like unfortunately, you're going to have to lose some of your style, but that's what you got to do if you want to sell. Correct. And I'm assuming cleaning your house is going to be one thing that you want to do. Get the bathroom, get the toilet cleaned up. Yes. I think floors. you heard it earlier to, yeah. today on the show that, that they don't like to walk into a dirty house. Yes, exactly. Uh, That's a deal breaker for yeah, dating and for homeowning. Consumers are the same way, so they don't want to come in and see, um, you know, it's a big, big mm. mess big, big playing mess. around. And I'm assuming also the outside is just as important as the inside. So you want to pick up the yard, tidy up the leaves, who knows what yes. bushes, trim yeah, the bushes a little general, bit. Yeah, general clean, general spruce up, you know, cut trees back off the house, bushes away from um, foundations. Um, you know, here again, simple stuff. Mulch is cheap. <laughs> Little uh, little sweat labor out mm -hmm. in the uh, out in the yard will go a long ways with making your house more presentable. I I totally agree. Uh, just a little bit little bit of fixes here, and your house is sellable and it's ready to go. Yes, that's absolutely fantastic. Aaron, thank you so much for joining us today. I, you know, everybody, get yourself a plan if you want to sell your house. And of course, to learn more, you can go to sunflowerrealtors.com.